right. Well, hey. thanks for talking to me today. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm a big fan of the show. Um, so what I wanted to ask you guys, I didn't get a chance to last time, is was it hard, like, stepping back into these roles that you've been away from for so long? Was there anything that was difficult about that? And Christian, then Beth. Uh, well, you know, it, it, uh, Dean Devlin, our boss, was very smart in what he did, which was the first scene up, we were all in the scene together. So not only did we put these hats back on and, play, and we're playing these characters, so we'd already high-fived and given each other a hug and, and been happy to be back together and did the table read, which was uh, brilliant. But now we're standing there. Now we're these characters again, and how is it going to work? And I thought Dean was so fantastic and smart in thinking about, let's put them all in the first scene straight up, heavy dialogue, heavy uh, content, and, 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 let them, and let them get, you know, it was almost like trial by fire. And I thought it was smart. And then immediately everything clicked and we we're like, wow, these characters are back. It took no time at all to fill these shoes up again. Um, and, uh, and then even, even uh, Noah Wiley was in the first scene with us, you know, well that day. And we, and so he got to be, you know, thrown into the mix and stuff like that. And I thought Dean was very smart by doing that because he didn't give us an opportunity to overthink it. He just made us do it. I mean, you know, you learn to fight by fighting. It's one of my favorite quotes by Bruce Lee. And that day is exactly what happened. And so it, he helped us out a lot by finding it again. But once we found it, it was just cake. Yeah, I think so much of our chemistry comes from being in the same room with each other. You know, it's you can rehearse and um, learn your dialogue on your own. But the mo I don't anticipate anything because I know the minute I get in there, I'm going to respond and listen and react based on everybody else's motion. And that's exactly how it was at the table read for me. It's like, I, I did all my work like I normally do to prepare. And then I knew the second I got with everybody, it was just, I, I, it was going to click, which it did within two seconds. You know, that chemistry is so apparent. It's, I think why people love these characters so much is because there is a genuine connection there on screen that just jumps out at you. And so I felt that personally when I got in the room and started hearing everybody's voices again as these characters, it was like an overwhelming sense of like being home, being safe, knowing I had great scene partners to count on. And that's our dynamic, you know? So for me, it really put me at ease right away. Okay. And Beth, originally, when the other series ended, uh, Parker was going to take over. So I'm just curious if it had happened that way and it just stayed the, you know, Parker Elliott and um, Cardison, how do you, just your own opinion, how do you think that would have been maybe different dynamic with, um, if she had taken over? Um, well, I think, you know, it's a, the whole thing is that you love all these characters so much, right? And one of the things we talk about is this idea of a leader and really we're a team. So at any given moment, something can go wrong and we have to count on the other one to pick it up effortlessly. We toss the ball, that person runs with it, right? I think the same is true about that. It's like seeing Sophie in such a vulnerable place at the start of the season and knowing and understanding how powerful she is. Um, we all wanted to support that as characters, right? And it was our mission to bring her back and to help her become so the Sophie we know and love. But as you see, as the season goes, she just blows it out of the water and is in a new position and has found the strength and really hits her stride. So I love the idea that we're off running international teams as a team, but then we come back together and, you know, we've got to figure out these new dynamics with uh, Harry and Brianna. Hardison is gone, but we know he's there and that foundation is unshakable. So there's certainty with that. And I think also the idea that you know, each week is a different set of circumstances. And so even for us as characters, we're having to think on the fly and that means being flexible. And so I think without one of us, it doesn't, you know, it's like Hardison is there, but is not there physically is my point, but we know he's there, you know? And I think that's really important to, to realize that we all have each other's back and, you know, we're gonna show up for each other. All right. And Christian, can you tease a little bit about the back half with um, uh, your relationship with the Marshall? How yeah, you know, listen, it's, uh, you know, Elliot has, has tried before. I think John Rogers, uh, season one, he kept asking, people were asking, why doesn't Elliot have anybody? Why isn't Elliot with anyone? And John Rogers always had the most fantastic answer for all five years of the first, uh, of the first go around, which was Elliot's weekends are full. <laughs> he just bring it around. He always said that. He goes, don't worry about Elliot. Elliot's weekends are full. And, um, and, it, and it's kind of, and, it, and that's just kind of what we went with. And so to bring, to bring the, the, the Marshall in, um, 
it was it's fun because you know he's never really opened up and you really parker doesn't but he's talking to parker about it he's trying to find some stuff out but he still keeps it you know close to the vest except for in a in a in a, in a situation where we both get trapped in a hotel and she happens to now he, there's no way he can hide it from parker you know what i mean so he's got to be more open um, but it's uh, it's it's fun. And I like the way it played out. And I actually do like the way it played out, because I think that uh, for Elliot, I think he thrives when he's a broken toy, you know, and uh, and and, and she, I believe that she could have cleaned everything up for him. And I don't I don't like I don't like that character. I like playing Elliot as a broken guy. That's where his heart comes from and everything else. Um, but you do get to see a, a quick glimpse of what's going on with him. And, uh, you know, I think it starts with the first episode up. Um, and not even with a girl. It's Beth directed this episode and LeVar Burton, the unbelievable LeVar Burton, you know, the piece of American history has come in and I got to act with him and Beth directed it. And I think he opened up to him a little bit, which was strange for him. And I think maybe something sort of broke there and he was able to be more out there for, for, for the Marshall. And then of course we know how that goes and it's, it, it's not a good, it's not a good thing. And so we end the season with Elliot Brooke again. And I love, I love doing that because there's somewhere for me to go now and I get to start over. And I love that. Beth, can you talk about directing and is it hard directing your friends? No, it's so much fun directing my friends. You know, before um, I was an actor, I was a photographer. So I've been really uh, pursuing this career for a really long time. And so the fact that my first episode of TV directing was with a, a, a cast and a crew that I love, like family was such a gift and such a blessing. And, you know, if anything, it's like staying on task and the, 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 you have to be an engine, right. And you got to make your day and it's a whole switch of a mindset when you're directing. But at the same time, I know these guys so well that I knew we had such a shorthand that it was a breeze to work with them. And it was so fun and lovely to watch them as an audience, like as a, such a fan of their work, um, that bond we have is super strong. So there's a lot of trust going into it. And um, I, I had the, you know, the great gift of knowing that I was going into a really safe, supportive environment. Okay. Um, are there any scenes or um, bloopers or anything that you guys would really like to see them add if there hopefully is a DVD set that uh, maybe fans haven't seen? I Listen, know. I can't speak on this because Beth would be the better one because I've never seen what really, I've seen, I know what ends up on the editing room floor but I can't imagine what she went through trying to cut the stuff out that she did. Yeah, I will say that the dailies are amazing because you see all the takes, right? And everything. And Christian, like the, the scene with LeVar in the car where LeVar throws his phone out the window, <laughs> Christian did it, a different reaction every single time. So I hope that's in there because every single one was like crying, laughing, funny. Um, and also the great train job that I directed, there was a lot of amazing uh, performances dramatically and otherwise that I couldn't, you can only pick one. So it's like, I, I, it's yeah, for the bloopers, for sure. There's going to be moments where we're, we have the giggles and stuff. I'm sure it'll end up in there. I have the blooper reel. I haven't watched it yet. Have you watched it? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to watch it. So uh, I can't wait to see that. I'm going to do that later today. Well, yeah. Hopefully they'll release it. And then quickly, I, I know how this season, there's some people maybe doing hacking that aren't used to it. So I'm just curious, would you like to see your characters maybe pick up one of the other skills a little bit more often that we're not used to seeing and which would that be? Well, I think that we have done that. Beth can speak more on this. She's really good at answering this question. But I think that, you know, over the years when it's been me, Hardison and her, um, I think that, you know, you can see that Parker's a lot more active. You know, she's like, there's a, there's one of the, one of the, my favorite pieces and no one will, this will just go by the wayside. No one will understand the, the emotion that I had to it because it's a quick scene was, Somebody rushes me and I literally arm drag them and throw them into her. And usually I would never do that. I would just take them out because I don't want her to get hurt. But I trust her as a fighter now. And people aren't going to understand. It's going to go right by the, the wayside. No one's even going to pick up on it. But I just threw somebody into her and went over somebody else because I trust her with the fights now. And she ends up obviously winning and I knew that she was going to. And, and people, it, it, but they won't register it. That Elliot just threw somebody into her, which means... Elliot has been working with her and training her. Hardison probably taught me way more about the computer than I've ever known because I never even touched that thing before. And, you know, Parker has taught us. Uh, I, I, I really rarely ever think that you would see Hardison hanging upside down again on a rope. I bet he, anything he's got it down now, and I bet Elliot can do it as well. We've all taught each other different things. I was going to let you talk, wasn't I? Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, pretty great. Listen, we like, we like. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you know, we want to be good at the thing that people know we're good at, but it's fun to watch the misbehaviors when, you know, someone's supposed to be practicing their burglary work and they haven't been and Parker scolding him about it. And, you know, those things are, those are great moments. But I think the reason when we work together as a team is because we are so, you know, we're each really skilled at the thing we do. But with the idea that we've been running these international teams, that we would naturally have to adapt. And as the show, the nature of the show has adapted with the time. So, so have our skill sets and, you know, it's what keeps us at the top of our game, I think. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, guys. I really love the show and I, I definitely you. hope to see a season two. Me too. Thank you. Bye. 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 Have a good day. You too.